What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the new arcade business as part of the Casino Heist DLC. I specifically want to talk about which arcade should you buy. There's uh, six locations and I want to give you my opinion on what I think is the best location. I believe the interior to the arcade is all the same um, regardless of the location. What does differ is the price, the location, and the exterior to the arcade. So to jump right into it, I own the Rockford Hills location. I think this is the best arcade that you can buy. I think this one goes for around 2.3 million. Um, one thing I will say is don't be too picky on the price. After uh, you spend on the upgrades and everything, you're going to be adding on another two to three million just for the upgrades, the inside aesthetics. So don't be sensitive on the price and go for a cheap location. So let's talk about what I like about this uh, Rockford Hill location. Uh, the first thing is the location itself. It's in a good area of the city, um, very close to my CEO office and some of my other businesses. This arcade is actually located in one of the more expensive areas of the city so if that's something that you care about you have um, some of the high-end shops in the area as well as the golf course um, if that's something that you consider now the exterior of the arcade isn't the best of all the arcades however I do like the um, how open the back entrance is and you'll see that it has a lot of room around the back entrance which is one thing I specifically value in a business and in specifically an arcade. Moving on to another location, uh, the most expensive arcade, which is the Vinewood location. This one goes for around 2.5 million. Now, I'm not too crazy on the location itself. I'm, this is my personal opinion, but I'm not really a fan of uh, the Vinewood Street. It tends to be have a lot of traffic on it and be lot of cluster on there so not really a fan of the location however the arcade itself is um, relatively nice with this location what is unique is that you have the garage on entrance on the front of the store which is something that you might value and look into however the main drawback is of course that being um, northern Los Santos that the streets tend to be more narrow and bendy in that area as opposed to the central parts of Los Santos so just something to consider when buying it. Moving on to the next location which is La Mesa and this is one of the cheapest ones that you can buy in Los Santos. Now one thing that really stands out and that I really like about this property is that it's a close to a lot of the warehouses and specifically my nightclub. Um, the other thing that I really like about this is it has, in my opinion, one of the nicest exteriors um, of all the arcades. However, with the cheap price comes drawbacks and the thing I really don't like about it and you'll see is that it has a lot of cluster around the back entrance and it's not easily accessible. So if that isn't a big deal, then I would recommend actually buying this property. But other than that, I still like the Rockford location. Moving on to the final arcade located in the city, which is the Warehouse Arcade. This is located near Grove Street. Um, not really a fan of this uh, arcade for various reasons. I think the exterior is one of the worst in the cities, and I don't really don't like the location that it's at. It's uh, away from most businesses in the city, and just kind of away from everything. So. This one costs around 2.1 million. Um, no real reasons you should buy this over La Mesa, which is about 300,000 cheaper. And finally, we have the two arcades located out of the city. So we have one in Grapeseed that goes for 1.5 million, and one in, all the way out in Polito Bay that goes for 1.2 million. Now, I don't really see a reason why anyone would buy the arcades out in this location. I know that one of the locations in Pol Polito Bay um, you get for free with Twitch Prime. However, 
it's definitely worth your while to spend the premium and buy the more expensive ones in the city uh, just to save you the time from traveling out there. Now, if you were definitely going to buy one outside of the city for whatever reason, I would recommend buying the grape seed. And this is solely based on the exterior. In my opinion, the exterior on this one is uh, the second nicest of all the arcades, only to the La Mesa location. But this is, of course, subjective. Um, like I said, a very nice exterior, but the location is kind of shitty. So that's pretty much it for the video. Like I said, um, I would recommend paying the extra money to get the location that you absolutely love. Just because the additional expense is going to be so little compared to the amount you spend on the upgrades and buying each game. So really just spend the money and buy the one you like. I recommend the Rockford location, but it's up to you guys. So that's pretty much it.